Hello, and welcome to the My San Dimas tutorial. Today we'll show you how to download the app and how to submit a request. First, you want to find your App Store. On Android phones, that would be the Google Play Store, and on iPhones, that would be the Apple App Store. Once you open the App Store, go ahead and hit Search, and type in My San Dimas. This is what the app looks like. So once you find that, go ahead and download it and then click Open. This will take you to the home screen of the My San Dimas app. Here you can find information about upcoming city events, information on what the different departments do, or you can submit a concern. So what we'll do today is we'll submit a concern. We're going to go ahead and click Start Request. If this is the first time you're using the app, you'll need to go ahead and sign up. It's as simple as putting in your name, email address, and a password. There is no criteria on the password, so you can go ahead and use whichever password you'd like. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and click Login. I'm going to put in my email address. And my password. And click Sign In. This will take you to the request screen. As you can see, there's various topics that you can choose from. But let's just say, for instance, we want to report a pothole on our street. You can use the search feature at the top and type in pothole. As you can see, up comes street, sidewalks, curbs, and gutters. And under that is pothole or street repair. Go ahead and tap on that. And as you can see, there's a Make Request button. Tap that, and it'll take you to the next step, which is to upload pictures. There's two ways you can upload pictures. One, you can click on camera. It'll ask you if it can access your camera, and you can click OK. And then you can go ahead and take a picture and use photo. It'll automatically geocode to the location that you're at. So go ahead and allow the My Location to use while using App. You can also choose a photo from your photo library. And again, you'll have to give access for the app to access your photo library. Here I found a couple pictures of a pothole. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a third one. As simple as that. Once you're done uploading your pictures, you can go ahead and click Next. Here it'll ask you for a description. As you can see, the photo location is already in. If the location is different, you can click there and either type in the address at the top, or you can move the pin on the map to go to the right location. I'm going to go ahead and keep the location as City Hall, and I'm going to click Done. Under Description, I'm going to put Pothole in Parking Lot by Water Fountain. And then I'm going to go down to Time of Incident. I saw that today at about 1 o'clock. We'll, we'll go ahead and say 1.20 p.m. and OK. And the date of the incident I'm going to say was yesterday. It's already going to have my contact info because I logged in. And I'm going to submit the request. Here you can see that your submission was successful. And it takes you back to the home screen. If you'd like to go ahead and take a look at your concern you submitted, Go to the upper left-hand corner to the hamburger menu, and you can go ahead and click on Track Request. If you wanted to go ahead and take a look at any of your old requests, even if they're closed, you can see them all right here on the screen. So what you can do is you could go ahead and go back to the main screen. But what's nice about this app is it'll give you notifications as to when an action has been taken. So we're going to go ahead and receive a notification that the pothole has been repaired. Because you allowed notifications, your phone will get a notification. And as you can see here, um, it tells you that the issue has been submitted and that you've received a notification that it's been closed. You can go ahead and click View, and it'll take you to the request. 
At the bottom, it says public comments pothole has been repaired. You can go back to the home screen and use the start request button if you needed to file another request. That is how you use the app. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy using the MySandemas app.